everyone. Thanks for being here today at our evening health talk. My name is Chong Fur. I'm a student at Life Chiropractic College West in Hayward, California. I'm a senior intern and actively taking care of patients and being able to see their progress of care with chiropractic care. A little bit of background about myself. Um, when I was in, when I was studying chemistry in my undergraduate, when I was about 20 years old, I uh, gradually felt my uh, health declining. I wasn't able to participate in the things I was enjoyed doing, like volleyball and tennis, and I wasn't able to concentrate in class, and my performance in school wasn't as great as I um, expected myself to be. And after seeking various type of treatment, the only treatment that I was able to get relief from was from chiropractic care. But it took me a long time to figure that out because I was searching for chiropractic care as a last resort. And I believe most people see chiropractic as their last resort. So I just wanna um, touch or talk about how it plays a role. Um, so the main topic of our topic today is pain, where it originates, how it travels in our brain stem, and our spinal cord goes to our brain, and how chiropractic plays a role in it, and the and the um, modern treatment of pain is. And so we could just talk about the various aspects of pain, and um, hopefully you see how chiropractic can help you if you're experiencing these type of symptoms. And so let's get started. Okay, so under your seats are um, our folders where I have prepared for you so you can follow along with this presentation. So one of the first thing you'll see is this pain pathway diagram. It looks something like this. Um, it's you, you can follow along, but I've written uh, in details what happens in this pain pathway, so if you need to study it later, you can do so. So let's talk about acute pain and how that occurs. So let's say you injure your lower back. You injure your lower back somewhere in this area. Um, you are essentially damaging the tissue in that area and you get a inflammation. And in that inflammation, you release chemical mediators that activates onto receptor sites of nerves. And the nerves, they go and they go into the spinal canal, into the spinal cord. They um, desiccate, meaning they cross the spinal cord, go into the brain stem, into the thalamus, and into your brain. And it gives you the location of where your pain is coming from. And so some of the ways people treat their pain that just occurred is they take NSAIDs, um, like ibuprofen, for example, to decrease their pain intensity. And that does work because what happens is that they are um, blocking the posterior glands um, where it's actively reacting onto that nerve. So it's, it is good. And some other alternative way you could decrease that pain level is um, moving, exercising just lightly, just to get your blood moving and everything moving along and decreasing that site of inflammation. You could take turmeric, you could uh, take omega-3, uh, you could ice it down just to decrease that pain level. And when you don't take care of your pain at that moment, about 72 hours, what happens is that you're going to start increasing your risk for chronic pain. And what happens in chronic pain is that where the inflammation is reacting on those nerves is that there's going to be increase of receptor sites. And if there's increased receptor sites, the threshold for your pain to constantly occur is increasing. And also, more nerves are generating, and those nerves are neuropathic, what we call neuropathic pain, where the nerves are growing and sprouting onto itself, also increasing that threshold for you to have more pain. So, um, so it's, it's important that you seek chiropractic care in the beginning stages of your acute injury is to decrease that risk of uh, entering that chronic phase. But some, but if you do come into the office with your chronic presenting pain, that's, that's okay as well because there's other factors that can play into the chronicity of your pain, if that makes sense. So 
What? Um, so your body naturally produces opiates, um, and that is to inhibit the amount of pain. And when you are in, in pain for so long, you run out of the production of opiates. And some people, they, when you're in so much pain, some people, they reach depression, um, they start taking other uh, higher doses of drugs, saying they take ibuprofen 800 milligram prescription strain, or they take other types of um, drugs that are highly addictive. And that's not, and alcohol, they start drinking or they start smoking. It's just a, um, a pattern, or not a pattern, but like just, how other people um, deal with their pain on their own if they don't seek help. So, like I said, when you exercise and you put motion into that area, it will decrease their pain. And some people they like and get massage. They like to get massages, and massages help as well because it creates this vibratory sense. And in chiropractic, that's where we also play a role. Is when we deliver an adjustment, we decrease that. Um, we decrease the pain by inhibiting those pain receptor sites that goes and travels into your brain. Um, so it's important for people to get care as soon as they start feeling pain or when they don't feel pain at all because it's important to get checked because sometimes pain is the last thing that comes, is pain is the last symptoms that could come on for most people and when with treatment pain could also be the first thing that resolves. So that's um, that's all I have for you today. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. So at the end of this talk, you're welcome to come and ask any additional questions. And we do have um, appointments uh, available to you if you want to seek care at our office. And um, I hope this was informative and hope to see you soon again.